Welcome back everybody to another video. I have been trying to figure out what to talk about in Valheim that I haven't already covered that might be useful to all of you. The reception has been awesome. I will keep saying it. Thank you so much for all the wonderful new people and the wonderful comments and all the new subscribers and I just I appreciate it. Seriously, I will never stop telling you that. Uh, I wanted to cover arrow types in this video. So this will just kind of be a quick uh, look over all the different arrows and just kind of my recommendations of what you should use them for at the kind of different stages you're going to be at. So, so far, we know of a list of arrows. And you start off with the wood arrows, which are really easy to make in the game. There are eight wood to make. You're going to use them a lot, and I highly recommend when you're first starting out and you make that crude bow, use these to take out deer from a distance and boars and stuff, and just to kind of farm your... Uh, you're, you're early on meat and leather scraps and, and deer hides and all that to get yourself going. They're cheap, a cheap resource to make. Um, later on, you're going to be able to start making like the, the bronze, uh, arrows and you'll also be able to make like the iron arrows and that. Um, they're, they're good again, as you kind of advance, but the cool thing about Valheim is it actually has like status ailment arrows. Um, the fire arrows you get access to early on because it's wood, resin, and feathers. I recommend uh, using this for your elder boss fight and even motor uh, because it just seems to do good added damage and uh, it hits with dots of damage. So you're getting the initial hit from the arrow and sure it's, you know, 11 pierce damage, but 22 fire damage. So you're getting those like ticks. Make sure you're, you know, hitting that. They're really helpful for taking on trolls in the beginning as well. Um, and again, like pretty easy to craft, but you're going to need to get feathers. Feathers come from trees and also make sure you're killing birds. So get those wood arrows to take out the birds as well, because it's easy to farm a lot of feathers. You're going to need feathers for all the good arrows, uh, pretty much. Uh, you'll also be able to make flint head arrows early on. That's really easy to get flint. You get it at the shores of the meadows. So again, a, a pretty solid damage arrow. It's 27 pierce. So they're really good early on. Um, you're gonna eventually you're gonna get the ability to make frost arrows uh, when you start getting obsidian You're gonna unlock obsidian arrows poison and frost frost I found really effective against bone mass if you have to fight him again or somehow you get obsidian prior to going to the swamp I recommend using frost arrows on bone mass because other than that it's melee damage for bone mass other arrows just seem to be whatever but frost arrows seemed fairly effective at least when I tried it um, obsidian arrows are solid with a pierce of 52 and obsidian is really easy to farm once you get access to the mountains you're gonna find tons of it all over the place so make sure you're farming that poison arrows are fantastic I love hitting enemies with poison damage it does 52 poison damage and uh, 26 pierce so it's a good combo together overall but um, before we go over the last one which I really think you should uh, again um, covering your your metal arrows so you're going to get bronze arrows once you unlock bronze pierce of 32 iron arrows at uh the iron age with a pierce of 42 and silver silver arrows do a pierce of 52 once you start getting your silver you can make those so kind of compared to the obsidian they do the same damage i honestly wouldn't waste your silver personally and just do the obsidian arrows uh when you can because obsidian uh you don't have to use it as much whereas silver depending how much you farm and how many people you're playing with you're gonna kind of need a lot of silver going around but my absolute favorite with a pierce of 62 damage are the needle arrows once you get access to the planes all you need are needles and feathers so take down those death skeetles the way we talked about these are hard hitting arrows and they are great for just railing on enemies and sh uh like crushing them so needle arrows for the win but definitely like, you know, the final stitch. Definitely the last thing you get arrow-wise that we found so far. Hopefully there'll be more as more content is added. But I just wanted to take a moment, you know, talk to all of you about arrows and their usefulness. Arrows are a great thing in this game, especially when you're being a solo player. It's just, you know, fight or flight if you got to, right? But arrows are a good way to take down some enemies. And some people argue that arrows are OP right now. I'd argue that they're just a... a a good backup plan uh, if you're more of a melee player use the melee but bows are just a lot of fun to use and there are so many different types of arrows for every player so i hope this was helpful i uh, hope to see you all making all of your arrows thank you so much for tuning in to another video and i will see all of you in the next valheim video